Hey everyone, this is Young from Career School. So today I'll be talking about leadership principle one more time. Um, and today's leadership principle is think big. Think big is actually one of my favorite leadership principles at Amazon because it allows you to think big, um, you know, kind of think differently, uh, think in new ways, take calculated risk and everything. And the other thing uh, that I really like about it is because usually um, a lot of the companies back, you know, back at home, back in Korea, or one of the companies that I work for, uh, really forces you to work on your day-to-day -day versus just really think big or think about new idea and of course i really like thinking about new stuff um, just like daydreaming or stuff like that so this uh, leadership principle really um, is one of my favorite ones because all of those things that i just mentioned i don't know how this leadership principle really affects other people but I think think big really allowed me to just like push my limits or think less about why things will not be worked out versus how can we actually make things done. Um, and whenever I think about new ideas, I think less about, okay, so how am I going to do it or how am I going to, you know, overcome these obstacles, but more so around hey, what's the customer impact? What's the actual end product that we kind of envision and those good stuff, uh, which I really like. So yeah, uh, enough, enough about me and let's dive into the actual leadership principle. Think big. Thinking small is a self-fulfilling prophecy. Leaders create and communicate a bold direction that inspires results. They think differently and look around corners for ways to serve customers. So if you look at the leadership principle, obviously think big is about, you know, get, coming up with new solutions for an existing problem or a new problem. But it's all about just thinking differently, thinking about new ideas, uh, ways to improve and all those kind of things. Right. So I think there are three parts. Uh, what I'd like to mention uh, after going through the leadership principle so many times is one is think long term versus short term. It's not only about the project or the work you do, but just like in general, just don't think about immediate outcome only. Just think about what will this impact in the long term, in the future for even like hundreds or tens of hundreds of years later. And I think that really made me think about things in a very different way. Um, and two is that you really have to think differently or think about new ideas uh, for an existing problem. There are so many ways that we have already been doing and it, it works, um, it works just fine. Not maybe not perfectly, but you know, there are just like so many things that you just don't know why it's done that way, but like it, you do it that way and it kind of works. But I think think big kind of forces you to think about new ideas or new solutions to a problem that's existing. So that's another piece that's really important. And number three is I think, is about risk taking. So if you want to do something new, if you want to do um, a you know new idea or a new solution to an existing problem, you really have to th think about like what are the risks that you're taking because that taking new ideas into place means that you will be facing new problems. So taking that calculated risk is also important in thinking about this leadership principle as a whole. So those three things, I think, are the key elements for Think Big. Yeah, so let's go into the sample questions now. Um, I'm going to be sharing three. And obviously, as I said, um, these questions can be found in Google or anywhere uh, you, you know, search for. Leadership principle questions, Think Big. Number one, tell me about a time when you were working on an initiative or goal and saw an opportunity to do something much bigger or better than the initial focus. Did you take that opportunity? Why or why not? And what was the outcome? Number two, give me an example of how you have changed the direction or view of specific function department and help them embrace a new way of thinking. Why was a change needed? And what was the outcome? Number three, Give me an example of a time you proposed a novel approach to a problem. What was the problem and why did it require a novel approach? Was your approach successful? So after looking at the uh, questions, I think there are three key elements. One, um, 
how and why did you see an opportunity to improve for whatever your business problem was? And then second, how did you come up with your new solution, your novel idea of solving that problem in a very different way that you have been doing before? And the number three is that how did you actually execute that and achieve what you wanted to achieve and even a bit better um, than what you were doing before? So now I'm going to be sharing my story, uh, which I used a few years back when I was interviewing with Amazon. One thing I wanted to comment before going into the sample answer is that I, uh, I've actually used this sample to share my example in the Deliver Results Leadership Principle video um, f for the smartphone update. Um, and I think it's okay to use one sample answer for multiple leadership principle. You just really need to frame it in a different way. Um, so yeah, let's go into the actual answer that I use. Yeah, so um, this is when I was working back in Huawei um, as a product manager. And in 2014, we had this smartphone launch, uh, first smartphone launch for Huawei um, in Korean market, which was called the X3 project. After a few months later, we had launched the product, we had found out that there was an issue with the software and that we needed to update it. So I worked with the software engineers and got the new version out there and uh, we had it updated to the customers, but our customer complaints were still there because we found out that only about 60% of the people actually updated their phone uh, to the newest version, which they will not find that issue. However, uh, as a product manager at that time, I had to quickly figure out like how to update this to a closer 200% rate so that customers do not face this software issue anymore. Um, so obviously there were some Im immediate actions that I took. I notified the marketing folks. I notified the you know consumer uh, customer service folks that we will be uh, and we have provided a new software so that they can uh, share it with the customers um, and then that encourage customers to update them. And then um, I also had to figure out a long-term strategy or a long-term solution for this. I was sitting in my office pretty late at night and then I saw these people um, who were, you know, I think it was the um, office crew who kind of came in to clean up uh, the mess in the office so that it looks really clean in the morning. Um, so yeah, like when I found those people coming in and it was like really late, almost like midnight, I think in the office. Um, and I, I found out that it's really interesting to see the work getting done seamlessly to customers who were Huawei employees, um, and have a clean environment in the morning when people come in. And I think that's when I thought about this whole, you know, uh, set up your time and update feature because, you know, I was assuming that people were not really updating their phone because they've been using or they are using the phone like all day long, nonstop, so they don't really have time to actually update it, which would actually take about an hour or so. So that's when I thought about this new idea of time set update. Um, and then that's when I went back to my engineers saying that, hey, you know what? I think this would actually work um, in terms of let's allow customers set a time when they want to update their phone, let's say 3 a.m. in the morning, 4 a.m. in the morning, so that when they wake up, they have a brand new software version in their phones and don't really have to worry about not being able to use the phone, you know, during the day. So yeah, we, we you know, kind of went back and forth, but at the end of the day, I think we um, ended up rolling this software version, um, which had this new feature in it. And that really got me, that, that, got, that really got us up to almost 90 something percent of uh, software update. The, the reason I am really happy about this is not only because we were able to solve one problem, but we were able to basically solve problems for future Huawei customers as well, which this is included in all these Huawei smartphones till, uh, from that time in, in worldwide. So yeah, um, that, that was my story about Think Big. Um, as I said, it might not be a dramatic change or dramatically new idea, but you know, you kind of think about a different thing and then you kind of implement it 
uh, uh, to your existing problem and you know come up with a new solution that you need to achieve and then it's also very long term when you look in a huawei phone impact impact perspective right so yeah i thought this was a pretty good story to tell and again i i have to say that i've used this um leadership principle to do my deliver results one but also use it for uh think big yeah so thank you so much for watching the video today um really hope you find this helpful um please leave any comment related to amazon career leadership principle just about anything really um, in the comment below and please subscribe to my channel like this video and share with your friends and stay tuned for more more content like this thank you so much